Denmark orders Skyringer 30 air defense systems from Rheinmetall. The initial phase of the contract will see the delivery of four prototype Skyringer 30 turrets by the end of 2026, with the remaining 12 systems scheduled for delivery in 2027 and 2028. The Danish military has yet to finalize its choice of missile for the system, though industry sources suggest that the Mistral missile, produced by French company MBDA, is under consideration. The primary weapon of the Skyringer 30 is a 30mm KCE revolver cannon, which uses 30x 173mm ammunition. This high-velocity cannon has a range of approximately 3,000 meters and a firing rate of 1,200 rounds per minute, making it highly effective against a variety of aerial threats, including drones, helicopters, and low-flying aircraft. A key feature of the system is its ability to fire air burst munition ABM, which is programmed to detonate after traveling a predetermined distance, releasing a cloud of tungsten sub-projectiles. This capability allows the Skyringer 30 to effectively neutralize even small, fast-moving drones. To ensure precise detonation, Rheinmetall has developed a technology that measures the projectile's muzzle velocity at the moment it exits the barrel. This data is used to fine-tune the programming of the munition, enhancing accuracy and effectiveness in combat situations. The Danish Army plans to integrate the Skyringer 30 onto its Piranha V8x8 platform, already in service with the Danish military. This platform meets the requirements for both mobility and protection, making it a suitable choice for the Skyringer system. The acquisition of the Skyringer 30 is part of Denmark's broader effort to enhance its very short-range air defense v Shorat capabilities, in line with NATO requirements. The system will provide essential protection for land-based military units, including command posts and combat forces, in both national defense and international operations. The Skyringer 30 is designed to operate as part of a layered air defense network, capable of integrating with other air defense systems. Lt. Gen. Perpug Hall Molson, head of DALO, emphasized the importance of the contract.